Anthoceratopsida, commonly known as hornwort, is the class of six genera and three hundred species. As this plant or this, uh, yes, as this uh, uh, bryophyte, uh, bryophyte shows the presence of elongated horn-like structure. It is uh, commonly known as hornwort, and this elongated horn-like structure is actually sporophyte. From where the spores are released, it has only one order. It includes only one order, Anthocerotales. The members of this uh, class and order are Anthocerus, Megacerus, and Notothallus, and many more. Some main characteristics of Anthocerotopsida: the plant body is differentiated into gametophyte and sporophyte. Of course, gametophyte is the dominant phase, whereas sporophyte is the dependent one. Gametophytic plant body is flat and dorsal, uh, dorsiventral. It is a simple thalloid. Rhizoids are smooth walled and present on ventral surface. Sex organs are present dorsally on the thallus. It, they are dorsally embedded on the thallus. Sporophyte is differentiated into food, meristematic zone, and capsule. Meristematic zone is the region where meristematic cells are present. Meristematic cells are those cells which are known for continuously dividing cell, and they are responsible for the growth and development of the tissue. Sporogenous tissue develop from epithelium. Pseudoelectors are present in the capsule, which play role in the dispersal of spores the columella is present in the capsule which originate from the endothelium and this columella is the central axis this columella is the central axis which is appearing in the next image in the center of the two uh, mode of reproduction they re they reproduce by means of sexual or asexual reproduction fragmentation and tuber formation are the asexual mode of reproduction tubers formed under unfavorable condition in this image we can uh, uh, observe that this is a thallus and on that thallus the uh, from the stalk on the stalk there is tuber formation taking place then after maturing the tuber get detached and uh, grow into a new plant in sexual reproduction water borne sperms are involved the sperms are uh, the sperms which require water for uh, as a mediate or as a medium through which it will travel or swim into the uh, water and then reach up to the uh, egg where it will fertilize the egg and uh, develop into a sporophyte this sporophyte then split into uh, yeah, this uh, the sporophyte split to release the spores that germinate into a gametophyte. In this image, we can see this is the horn-like structure, elongated structure, and this uh, is a splits. This has been split into uh, two flaps, and uh, where from where the spores are releasing. So this was all about. This was all about. class anthocerotopsida which is commonly known as hornwort in the next video i will be dealing with bryopsida so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates and more videos